If you've been watching a lot of competitive Smash, you might have noticed something interesting. Or really, you might have noticed the lack of something. In Smash Bros Ultimate, there's a serious lack of Ryu. We see so little of Ryu that it's like we're playing Street Fighter V or something. But of course, we're playing Ultimate on this channel. And if you want to get better at Ultimate, you should check out all of the guides, tips, and coaches we have waiting for you at ProGuides.com. There's not only one Ryu there, but there's an entire cast of characters and tons of guides for them. So click the button and check it out right now. Now back to Ryu. We have Grappa. Double dash attack. True combo. Oh, wow, what he take that shit dead. Is that a kill? What a According to SSB World, Ryu is pretty much Ultimate's least played character. Wow, that's wild. The only characters under him are Charizard, who was a third of a character, and the worst third of that, and Byleth, who's been out for less than a month. So you could technically say he's not the least popular, but he, he is, come on, come on, he is. Now SSB World Data does have its flaws. It's a database that organizes based off of tournament VODs that users submit to the site. It has lots of gaps in data, and it also can't take into account so many different locals and tournaments without YouTube channels. It's still one of Smash's better data sources, because Smash data is kinda bad. We ain't a MOBA, boys. We grassroots. <laughs> and character data is particularly rough, as lots of times it isn't reported on any bracket site. The other site we could look at is smashdata.gg, which is pretty great from a player perspective, but even character data here is unreported. However, we can use a mix of SSB World, smashdata.gg, and our own knowledge from watching tournaments to see that Ryu hardly gets played. On smashdata.gg, you can do this by looking at the common traditional fighter mains. Players like Riddles, Takeda, Sandstorm, Nido, F-Sharp, they all play Terry or Ken more than Ryu. So what's the deal? Why does everyone turn away from the face of fighting games? Is he just bad? Well, not really. In most tier lists, he's mid-tier at worst, and in some, he's high tier with Ken. It goes deeper than character strength. Almost no one plays Ryu for these four reasons. 1. His archetype. 2. His difficulty. 3. Ken. 4. Smash 4. Confirms getting more percent that way, even if he doesn't get the true, the true Shoryu, it'll still KO. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, he's gone. Wow. First, let's talk about Ryu's archetype. Ryu is in a Smash niche that we'll call traditional fighters, made up of Ryu, Ken, and now Terry. We did think about calling them Shoto niche just to get another character Discord rage at us, but <laughs> we decided not to be dumb. But for Terry mains everywhere, we will call them traditional fighters. Not only is traditional fighter archetype really small, it's also really weird. Each character is designed to play like they were torn out of a traditional fighting game because, well, they were. <laughs> traditional fighters focus more on inputs, tight combo windows, and boxing on the ground. So the traditional fighters in Smash are all more grounded, have tight combo windows, and have command inputs. They may play differently than most of the cast because of those things. That makes all of them less popular. From SSB World, we can see that Terry is right next to Ryu, with 0.2% of the total competitive player base. And Ken isn't much better, with just 0.6%. To be fair to Terry, he hasn't been out much longer than the other two. If you don't want to use data from SSB World, then you can look at the PGR. The PGR ranks the top 50 players in Smash, and of those 50, just one player is a traditional fighter main, Riddles. You can also watch tournaments and see that Terry, Ryu, and Ken mains are a rare breed. Well, except for Canada. It looks like King of Fighters up there. Traditional fighters are rare because most Smash players have played several Smash titles. This is twice as true for competitive players, so a lot of players got used to archetypes that they were playing since they were kids like sorties or space animals. The traditional fighter didn't come until Smash 4. A lot of players don't want to main a traditional fighter because it's learning a whole new and very different archetype. So Ryu's win rate is kind of low due to his archetype. Now let's talk about the archetype's difficulty. Ryu, Ken, and to a slightly lesser extent, Terry are all hard characters to play. Not only are you learning a whole new archetype, you also have to learn a bunch of command inputs, basically putting in directions as you attack so that you access a special move. And you gotta use those command inputs and combos, and on top of all that, each character has a bunch of combos in general. So you have to remember which strings work at which percents and against what kind of DI. Not to mention, all of these characters are pretty okay in the air and mediocre off stage. Then you need to learn the little ways to mix up your linear landing and recovery so you don't die all the time. Oh, and they have an auto turnaround mechanic, 
so they're almost always facing the opponent, which is a good thing. It's pretty great for catching rolls or ledge trapping, but it also means you gotta learn to RAR to use the back airs, and the RAR, especially in tight windows, can be tough. Playing a traditional fighter is a lot of effort that just isn't worth it for most Smash players. So Ryu's difficulty is another part of the reason why people don't play him. Oh, Epic got it. Got it. And then there's Ryu's biggest opponent, Ken. Yeah, the element of Smash doesn't really capture Ryu's personality. For a long time, Ken was a mostly better version of Ryu. These two characters do have a lot of subtle differences and definitely aren't the same. It's just that they are the same archetype. So Ken, Ryu, or Terry mains tend to play the other traditional fighters. However, Ken has a faster overall ground speed than Ryu. Ken also kills more off of his Shoryuken and less off of his Tatsu or back air. Ken also doesn't play around his Hadouken nearly as much as Ryu does. And all of this makes Ken better in the meta. Patch 7.0 may change this in time, but we'll get to that. Basically, Ken did better against Zoners because he was faster and could kill easier. Ken did better against a lot of balanced characters because he could chase them down and fight them more easily. Ryu arguably could do better against pure rushdown characters like ZSS because he could zone better with his Hadouken, but for more matchups, Ken was the better pick. So Ken crowded out Ryu and won over most traditional fighter mains. If you look at SmashData.gg, almost every traditional fighter main has played Ken more than twice as often as they've played Ryu. At their base, Ken and Ryu are grounded rushdown characters. So Ken having better ground speed just fits more. It makes you wonder why Ken is faster in the first place. To answer that, we gotta go all the way back to Smash 4. Ryu was the only one of his kind in Smash 4. As the only traditional fighter, it made sense for him to be a primarily rushed down character. These fighters are brawlers at heart. Even their Hadoukens are pretty dang important. They want to get up in your face. But then Ultimate came out, and so did Ken. Ken was a golden opportunity for Smash to capture the projectile and rush down sides of traditional fighters. Ken could be the faster and more aggressive version of Ryu. That opened the door to Ryu to be a bit more balanced and have better projectile too. I hate his projectile. The thing was, once they fixed both characters, Ken could go on to compete with other good rushdown characters. Ryu, on the other hand, couldn't compete with other zoners at range. He couldn't even compete with other characters that had useful projectiles. You could argue that Wolf and Joker had better projectiles, and that's sad. To make things worse for Ryu, in some ways, Ken plays more like Smash 4 Ryu than Ultimate Ryu does. That sounds weird, but it's like Ken inherited the rushdown mantle. Ultimate Ryu became one odd, unpopular duck. It's kind of a shame too, because there's nothing wrong with Ryu. He's not totally jank, he's not super weak, he's not even lame. He's just a victim of circumstance. But don't worry, it's not all bad news for Ryu. Patch 7.0 just dropped, and it comes with buffs for both of our Shoto friends. These buffs are looking really good for Ryu in particular. Ken and Ryu can now cancel into special inputs out of their own down smash. That means Ryu has new combos and new shield break setups. Their heavy down tilt also has a new launch angle. Before the patch, you could DI up after Ryu's down tilt and dodge his Tatsu. Now, you can. And that's huge for Ryu, because this Tatsu kills way earlier than Ken's. It's one of his best kill moves. So now Ryu's down tilt into Tatsu is a super consistent kill confirm that can rival Ken's Shoryu kill confirms. All that stuff is good, but it's just icing on the cake. The actual cake is the Hadouken buffs. Ryu's projectiles now have a lot more shield stun. Why is it a big deal? Well, before patch 7.0, you could beat Hadouken by shielding most of the time. The shield stun was so small that Ryu didn't have time to run behind it and grab the opponent. So Ryu would shoot a fireball and then not get much from it. Now, Ryu's fireballs lock an opponent in shield so long that Ryu has at least enough time to get stage control or run up to his opponent. If they're grooving, Ryu players can get shield break and shield poke setups with their projectiles. And on top of that, Ryu has brand new combos off of said projectile. Now you actually have to respect Ryu's projectiles. You can't just shield them. And this finally brings Ryu closer to being that more balanced traditional fighter that can actually zone in lots of matchups. This could be big in the meta and we could see traditional fighters go to Ryu a lot more for matchups. We've already seen Nito, a player that's ranked ninth in SoCal, switch from Ken to Ryu to beat Chag, an Inkling main and one of Mexico's best players. Ryu could zone Inkling more effectively and didn't have to rush in and play as risky as Ken. Exactly how it should be. Oh. 
Hopefully we're starting to see a new trend and the face of fighting games will make a comeback. Regardless of who you play, if you're looking to improve at Smash, you should check out ProGuides.com. Hey, we have live coaching sessions and a course from Mexico with one of the world's best players, MKLeo. Check it out.